So, hello and welcome back to the Rusky server. Ah, no, it's back again. I know, that's like three episodes in a row, I think. Um, I'm just really enjoying myself. I'm having a lot of fun on the server um, with, you know, the other gears as well. And just basically just doing the builds. Just, I'm, and it's like, it's the only thing I really want to play at the moment. So, and you know what it's like when you, when you get into that state where you just want to play one game. And I'm really enjoying the building process and I'm really enjoying this whole entire uh, Greco Roman theme. So, yeah, we got another episode from the Russell Gear server today. In today's episode, we're going to be doing a Greco Roman bathhouse. Yes, I know. I did mention that a few episodes uh, ago. Uh, so, let me open up my inventory and let's show you basically what is our palette today. So, we've got polished chokestone. We've got the chalkstone bricks. I'm going to be having some smooth chalkstone as well. And a tiny bit of chalkstone cobble as well. I have done a few test builds. Let's fly over here. I have done a few test builds. None of which I am particularly happy about. Uh, but I like certain aspects of each well, creative test build that I've done. Um, in one of them, I've concentrated on the actual pillars which will be going around the building on another one i concentrated more on the brickwork and the design i i still haven't quite decided down trigger i quick i haven't quite decided the actual wowzers so wowzer that was right in my ear uh me thinks there's a wolf around here somewhere what do you reckon oh there he is go away no one likes you um yeah, I I like certain aspects of both creative builds. I still haven't really found um, a particular plan of a build that I like. So the actual footprint of the build, I don't particularly... Both of the builds, I wasn't too keen on the actual footprint and stuff. So it's probably going to be amalgamation um, of two different builds and probably a little bit extra why am i staring into this blank space because this is where it's going so i i was originally going to put it right opposite the road but i want to put something else here maybe some market stalls but it's here and it might actually even be bigger than this so but so i've done a little too wide just almost like footpath walking around it which takes you to the main roadway uh i think this will be big enough he says, I think it'll be big enough. But if I need to, I think if I need to make it larger, I can go down here. Uh, and I can obviously I can remove it. I can take up the stones and remove it down here as well. So I'm not overly worried about basically too much size. I don't want it too big. Now I know Greco-Roman bathhouses were historically quite a large places uh, because of the functionality. Um, back in the Roman times, uh, most people didn't have an accessible bath or a shower uh, and it was a good way of cleanliness so the local government i suppose at the time used to build large bathhouses so people could keep clean and it was a good social area and uh, to be honest a lot of the time the middle class and more well-to-do people used to use them more than anything else uh so these builds we started out predominantly uh, just a basic bathhouse um, quickly changed into a bit more of a grandiose structure with statues and 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 pillars and stuff so I'm gonna make sure it's daytime before I start but before I bring you back again hold on yeah I'm gonna make it daytime before I bring you back again and what I am going to do I'm just gonna basically build some of the key key bricks that I'm gonna be doing and as I'm doing some chisel work with the pillars, uh, the three different sections I'll be using, and also some other chisel work I'll be using in the build as well. And I'll be running th running that through with you, as well as the footprint for the build as well. Where we have to basically nail down some sort of footprint for the build. Okay, guys, right, I'm going to make sure it's daytime next time I come back. I shall see you in a minute. Right, okay, so it is a nice and daytime again. Oh, it's been lovely, that build. Very, very happy with that. And I've got my three blocks that I want to chisel with you. So let's basically set them all going to start off with. Now, we're basically trying to make, well, as close as damn it, 
an actual pillar, something would be to hold up a building, but in the Greco-Roman style. Now, the way I've found the best way of doing it is start with a middle setting first. So let me bring up the F button. F button, so you want to start 4x4x4, four by four by four, okay? There you go, you go down as well, and then you go down as well. And then we want to basically dial it back then. F. And we're going to go down to the smaller setting. I'm just going to take those corners off from each side. So you as well. Hope we've come down to the floor. There we go. Now one of the thing one of the things I was noticing when I was doing this, a lot of time I was just getting the plus shape. And it's not what I was going for. I was, I was going for, you know, quite a curved structure and stuff. And again, it, it boils down to um, the actual flat parts, weirdly enough, of the actual block that you're trying to do. And you have to include some of the flat parts. Because, we, because we're working on an actual square format, um, it's easier just to go with it than to go against it. I don't know how else to explain it. Right, so we got that there, which is an okay start, I suppose. Right, now we have to go down to the next setting, which is the smallest one there. Uh, and to be honest, we want to take them off there first. And I think I want to do it all the way along. Now I'm going to hop in, and well, I am going to hope basically that I'm remembering this correctly. Because obviously I did this in my creative test world. You go all the way down there. Right, so now you've got a little bit of a structure that side. And again, we're going to take off all this one as well. Just do the last side around here. And don't worry, I've not finished yet. So I'm trying to basically make this super simple for you, but something that looks very, very eye-catching and really, 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 really cool. But something that's really, really easy to actually do. So that is starting to look a bit better, but now I want to start to round off the pieces a bit more. All right, so let's do you. So that's what we've got now. Now... For me personally, that does not look rounded. It doesn't. It doesn't look rounded at all. So what we're going to do, we're going to take down this section yet again. And there we go. And for some strange reason, having these really, really flat sections here just makes it look more rounded. And it looks more like a pillar from literally any angle. You come from over here and you know what you're looking at. Now, this is but this will be making the large part of the, the actual middle section you can if you wanted to make some i don't know add some maybe some darker lines maybe some shale or maybe i don't know another, another dark block maybe some andesite some polished andesite maybe down the edges and stuff for me i'm just going to leave it as it is because i like the pattern i like the patination of the actual polished chuck right so i'm gonna take a picture of that there we go, and we're going to move you over here. And there we go. There we go. Right, so now we're going to do the bottom of the actual pillars. So now, um, to be honest, it'd be easier to sit down. There we go. We're going to sit down now. F, and we want to bring you out. So remove and, and add. Remove, then add. Add, and then, oh, come here, you. There we go. It's just easy doing it sitting down, will you know? G again. So we're going to do... Come here, you. Move, add. Let me move in and add. Thank you. Go. There we go. G again, just to sit down. Move, then add. We move. And then if I can get it, we move... No. Oh, come here, you. You and you. And the last bit can go there. So there we have. We've got basically the bottom of the actual pillar, which is quite cool. And you're doing exactly the same at the top. So we're going to do that again. So I'm going to take you as a picture. I don't know if it's already stored. It probably has already stored it, but we're going to do one again. There we go. 
there we go we're changing you out and this time we're going to do exactly the same but at the actual top so f make sure you are chosen make sure you are the right one yep you are the right one now if we put down a nice long column this time so we're going to go maybe from here so one two three four five six seven eight and eight ah, nine there we go and this time we're going to take the middle section first so f and f picture how cool is that now that is a proper pillar proper greco i think i'm probably not going to do it to that height but you know what i mean though uh, so this will be to, this will be forming the vast majority i'm probably going to do half that size because that's ridiculous little um but this will be forming pretty much most of the actual surround so what's probably going to happen is we're going to have probably a five wide or seven wide gap to actually get into the actual building itself and then round the building we're going to have like a pillar then two spaces and then we're going to do another pillar and then again two spaces and so on and so forth and this is going to and this is going to go on oh the whole entire pillar and this will serve as the outside and it's also basically the place where the actual roof will be resting on. So each of these pillars will be said yay high and stuff. And then the roof will be resting on top of those pillars. Behind those, let's bring out the actual chokestone. We're going to leave uh, probably one gap. So we're going to something like, mm, something like there. And then we're going to build up a wall. And I'm going to do this a mixture of the actual chokestone brick and the polished chalk as well. like so so basically we're going to have the pillars going around first and then we're going to have a wall going around as well now in the wall we are going to basically have in our window so we're going to be using this template shape and we'll be transferring it over to here and having some windows in the walls around here not too many it is a bathhouse after all you want to keep some sort of privacy there um and uh, yeah the actual roof though itself is going to be a pretty standard greco-roman roof as in it's going to be a triangle so come up here you you and then you and you now i haven't quite decided if i actually want it to uh it's you isn't it i think <laughs> <laughs> Man, that was a day, didn't it? Uh, you go there, you go there, you go. Right, there we go. Uh, you, and then you, and then you. Right, so we're going to have this as the actual design of the actual roof. So nothing like this. We're not going to have any clear fire roofing i know we've done it around pretty much all the structures but again we're going to keep it uh the actual polished the actual polished chalk um, now I haven't decided yet to either do it completely flat and I was using the chisel to chisel it literally down as flat as I can get it or uh, I'm going to have it basically as almost like a stepped I don't know yet I haven't decided that one but I, what I probably am going to do is that move that and remove that one and remove that one and remove that one because I do want a slightly retaining wall behind. So you and then you. So we're going to have obviously the structure of the roof there. And then behind it. Thank you. Then we will have, you know, the actual wall itself. So I've been doing all the research on the Greco-Roman era. Uh, and I'm thinking basically maybe having this inset and maybe having some sort of structure there maybe some statues i haven't tried making a statue before um but yeah we'll see how that goes with that i don't know how i don't know how my skill set is but yeah this is probably going to form some sort of roof it might be a little bit longer out because it has to encompass from here all the way to over here so the roof is going to be so my elongate it instead of having it super pointy so instead of having one i might do two and then up one and then two up one and two so just to make it a little bit more elongated but yeah 
So that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing um, in today's episode. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to build up the pillars first. I'm going to move this down as well. I'm going to build up the pillars and I'm also going to build up the wall. Uh, and we'll then we'll work together on what type of entrance I do want to have. Okay, I shall see you shortly. So guys, welcome back. It's been a day or so since the last clip. I've been, been a busy little bee. I've had to pop back here just to get a bit of food and to gather up a few resources. I need to get an extra chest as well. Uh, let's go over there. <laughs> Make it nice and simple. Let's pop over there. Now, I've done a little bit more than I said I was going to do, but that's not really... That's, that's nothing new. I usually do that anyway. And we're coming from this side. All right, I have to keep an eye out. There's a few wolves dotted around the area, running amok. I've not been able to kill all of them yet. Oh, you can just see it peeping through there, can't you? There we go. Up over here. And there we go. This is the bathhouse. Now, I am relatively happy with the actual design and the layout. I've used, obviously, certain aspects of the chisel blocks that we already have, like the windows. And we've got the side views as well. And in, in, in these side sections, I want to have either statues or some sort of fancy, <laughs> fancy item. I don't know what yet. Uh, I think I might struggle to do statues. It's not really my forte, but then the funny building, building and chisel, chisel work is not really my forte. Anyway, I'm really, really happy with the dimensions. Now, historically, these places are usually a lot bigger and i'll explain why we'll pop inside and i'll show you so there's usually a place for ladies and there's a place for men now the whole structure inside is not really that wide but saying that there were two different types of bathhouses yes there really was so the bathhouses that you found in the cities which were like mega structures uh, you know, three, four times the size of this, which would have, you know, swimming pools, steam rooms, cold rooms, warm rooms, uh, rubbing down tables, we did get massages. Some of them also included like a gymnasium with a running track. Uh, so, so this is a very, very much smaller version of what you'd find in the city. But in most of the towns and stuff, they would have a more basic feel of a bathhouse. Now, the bathhouse was super, super, super important. And what you used to find in most areas which were taken over by the Roman Empire um, was that one of the first buildings that was introduced into that small city or small town was an actual bathhouse. They deemed it was it was seen as being that important uh, to the Roman Empire with the whole bathhouses. It wasn't just about the cleanliness; it was about a lot of different things, including uh, like the whole social aspect, uh, mingling with other people. Deals used to be struck, and uh, just just in general, uh, it was almost like a focal entertainment part where a lot of people went. And uh, they would spend sometimes a whole day inside the bathhouse. But yeah, I am super happy with this. Now, around the sides, the only thing that I've not done is I've not finished off the roof as yet. Because I've run out of mortar. Now, um, let me bring you up. So, yeah, we've not done the rest of the roof yet. And I did decide to do basically a flat roof. Uh, and it was going out two and then two and then up two. But yeah, and, and that massive pile of uh, chalk that I had to start off with, that's what I have left now. <laughs> Pretty awful, isn't it? Right, so there is a few jobs that I need to do uh, before I continue going on with this structure. Uh, first things first, I need to get more mortar. Now, I can buy some mortar from Machino. So all I need to do is to pop over to his area and he's basically selling his mortar for uh, copper nuggets. And there's also another job that I want to do as well. Right, so, remember when we found that that 
translocator. We found that that room with all the metal pipes and everything inside it. And I said I want to basically pick up all those pipes, as many as it would let me to, and then gift it to Sid because of you know he's been super nice with us. He's you know helped us get our angel belt and just basically just generally be really nice. So I know he's after all these broken pipes. So I'm gonna basically pick this up or we'll pick this up together. <laughs> Uh, pop it on my back and let's fly over to Sid's house and I'm going to leave a message in Discord to say I've left him a nice little gift in his house. So let's pop over to Sid's. It's just across here. Only take two seconds to do. Now I don't know how many pipes he's going to need but I completely stripped, stripped out that structure uh, for all the metal pipes and stuff. So we'll pop it down here. There we go. And we'll pop it there. And yeah, I'll just leave him a little note in Discord saying basically I left him a gift inside his starter house. Uh, and uh, hopefully that should do him quite well. Right, so now we need to pop over to Shino's. Oh, first off, I need to make sure I've got some copper on me, don't I? Because that's what I'm trading in. Uh, he doesn't want gears. Um, Shino's basically philosophy for this season has been uh, supply so he's he's looking at basically supplying the gears with uh, resources at the price of say you know he's going to do it for free like copper and tin let's have a look what we've got hmm nothing is oh do we have something is there oh there we go 512 so let's take you up that on my back and now we have to fly over to Shino's. Now, luckily, I know where Shino's is. And if you've not seen Shino's uh, build, um, I don't know. Look away now. I don't think I'm showing anything that's going to be spoilers anyway. Am I flying yet? I am flying, yeah. So it's not going to be any spoilers. It's nothing that you haven't seen before. The wall. saying that, I know he has been on the server a lot recently. So it might be a little bit of spoilers. I'll have a check anyway. If it's spoilers, um, I'll make sure to uh, remove it from the video. <laughs> and you'll have to watch his video to find out what he's up to next. But yeah, but I, it's going to it's going to take me a minute or so to to get over to Shino's. Uh, it's just down this this section, uh, just after Odd Apes, uh, and it's a little it's going to be a little bit jittery. So let's phase out, and I will see you at Shino's base. Oh, that's nice. That's grounds. Mm, lovely. So I've had a good look around his base, most of which I can't show on camera because he's done a lot of work of racing. I can't find the mortar anywhere. He's got fire clay. He's got basically the blue clay and uh, nuggets and all that type of stuff. But yeah, no mortar around. I've checked the actual chests and stuff. There's nothing there. Um, hmm. So I might have to message him. Um, yeah, I might have to message him on Discord just to basically find out, you know, if I'm if I want to just get some from the source, uh, the mortar. Um, where do I get it from in his base? His base is massive, so you're gonna have to. Um, yeah, you're gonna have to tune in to his next episode because he's been doing a lot of work, and I mean a lot of work. And to be honest, I think that's gonna call it for today for me i have done this over about four five six days seven if you include collecting the actual chalk itself so yeah it's been it's been a bit it's been a pretty full 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 structure and i think I'll, we'll finish off with uh with uh, another look at the uh greco roman bathhouse all right guys we'll finish off that way Bye-bye for now. Bye.